Today I'm going to be modifying my computers, Wi-Fi, antennas. Now on this computer here, this is the Lenovo R61 computer I always use, my favorite. From the things I see on the internet, this right here is our Wi-Fi antennas. It's funny how there's not many videos on the internet about people modifying their laptop antennas. I don't really think the government wants you to do it because then you can get better signal than everybody else. <laughs> but uh, right here, this is our antenna plate. I looked on eBay and uh, the uh, internal antennas that they sell for your network card, they always come on a flat panel and this is the only flat panel I can find. So, First of all, there's these little black circles or squares that were covering the screws here. I lost one of them, but right there was one of the squares that were here. And the circle one, believe it or not, was on the bottom here. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take out these screws, and uh, the face here pops off. Alright, I got all the screws out of here, as you see. Now, I was able to pop the uh, outer cover off here. But you got to be very careful with that because it's just a, you know, a thin piece of plastic, and uh, there's these little clips that lock into the frame here in case if you was to drop the computer. Uh, that way, this won't come off. Anyway, those clips are a little hard to get out, so you got to be careful with that. What I did is I pried this end off first and just made my way along with the screwdriver until I was able to get that. And this side over here came off by itself, but I still got to get that side. Camera's going to be sitting on this cup. I hope you can see what I'm doing. All right. Alright, so this is the outer cover. These are your LED light bulbs. And as you can see, camera's not too clear, but this up here is our antenna plate. Here is one of our uh, antenna wires that come from the network card. The network card is directly under the keyboard. And uh, here is the other wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file. I'm going to follow these wires. See exactly where they go. I don't really know what that is. I don't think that's the antenna. But there is wires going to it. I'm going to I'm going to check this out for a couple minutes and get my bearings here to see where these wires are routing to. And. Uh, after I figure it out, I'll, I'll start recording again. Alright, I took the screws out that hold the screen to the back panel here. There was a screw there. There was one here. And there was one up, up there. All together there was three. And then when I took that off, there was a little microchip with small wires attached at the top. I popped that off. And now... I'm going to put the screen down and then the back panel here. You can see there's an antenna wire there and there's an antenna wire there. And that metal plate and that metal plate, whether you know it or not, are your Wi Fi antennas. Now I want to pop this top panel off so I can modify them. When you do this, be very careful because everything is delicate. Uh, those wires right there were attached right there at the top. Now if I didn't pop that little tiny circuit board off, those wires would have broke so when you take it apart be very careful. You know, don't just rip everything apart like you do on a radio over there. Those old boom boxes are a lot easier to fix. 
be very careful. Wires are small and once you break one of them ribbon cables you're not going to be able to fix it. You're going to have to buy a new one. So uh, don't be stupid and just uh, do it the right way. Hopefully you can see this. Pop the top panel here off with a small screwdriver. Now, as you can see here, a little. As you can see here, we've got the panel off. Now you want to hold this screen because, or the the back cover here, because if you don't hold it, it will fall and there's wires and stuff attached uh, yeah you want to be very very careful with this uh, anyway right here is our antennas you can see the metal plates you can see how those wires are coming from the network card up to the top plate here now I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet but I can see that there's solder joints on the wires I just happen to have my soldering iron with me, so I think I'm going to uh, solder another wire <laughs> to these metal plates. So these metal plates will still act as an antenna, but whatever wires I have soldered to it are going to pick up the reception as well. Double antennas, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, I found a little easier way to do this. Uh, apparently the plastic isn't going to come off, so I can let the plastic set down just like that and won't go anywhere so now what I'm going to do is look at these wires here let me give you a clearer picture I gotta stop the camera alright there we go now as you can see this wire is soldered luckily it's only one wire I don't see any other little pieces of copper or anything in there so it's only one solder joint that we're working with here and it's the same thing on the other side one solder joint and uh... yeah so basically what I'm going to do is solder wire to this or somewhere on the panel there and somewhere on the panel here and I'll just run the wire and I don't know I might sorry about that the camera cut me off as I was talking anyway I might uh... screw in an antenna to here I might put on an antenna here what I'll have to do is I'll have to put a drill a hole in the plastic and I'll put a washer on this side and I'll put a washer on that side to strengthen it so if you bump into it it won't break you want to make sure you have washers if you do that and then these wires will run from there to the antenna and then the antennas will come out this is just an idea I don't know if I'm going to do it or not yet I still got to heat up the soldering iron and uh, see how everything goes but uh, if you have any ideas let me know. Alright, um, I changed my mind about the soldering. Turns out I do not have any solder with me. And uh, the solder that's on there is not really, there's not enough for me to solder a wire. So, uh, my dad gave me this small, thin, green wire any kind of wire I'm guessing will work as long as it's a, a secure and tight connection where it's not going to move back and forth and cause interference um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and wrap this wire here you can use bread ties too, hang on a second Now you can use this green wire here. I don't know where you buy it at or anything, but you can also use this. This is just like a bread tie, like one of them little twisty ties. Uh, what you'll have to do is melt the plastic off of it, 
or if you got the paper ones you can just burn the paper off of it or rip the paper off uh, but I'm going to try and use this green wire normally I would use a twist tie like this because it's strong wire and it's not going to break easy you can bend it around but this right here is a little thinner and I think this might slip through the top of the display easier I might have to drill a hole I'm not sure but I'm going to try and wrap this wire around the two antenna plates inside of the screen alright now before I um, wrap the green wire around these metal plates here I just want to get a basic idea of how these antennas are going to look and how they're going to function after I wrap the wire around. See it's not that hard these little pieces of metal I think pop out so I can pop the metal out and then tie that wire around or the twist tie around these small plates here see how the, uh, the lines in the antenna there I can easily wrap a wire around I just want it to be secure I don't want those wires to move back and forth and and interfere with the signal because uh, Wi-Fi signals are on a very high frequency and I don't know why they choose to have a high frequency but it's easy to get interference see if the uh, if the Wi-Fi had an analog signal uh, you wouldn't have to worry about any interference but when you're dealing with high frequencies if the piece of wire that you're using moves one time you're gonna lose your signal let's say you're downloading a movie and uh, if you had an analog signal and you move that wire you would just hear a scratching noise like for one second but with digital you don't hear the scratch and you just lose your connection <laughs> and then the computer has to reconnect because it it thinks that uh, I shouldn't even go there I don't know why but I've seen it happen before when I tried messing with Wi-Fi antennas if you know what I mean if you lose a connection for a split second the computer's going to disconnect and it's going to stop whatever you're doing so when you do this you want to make sure that your connections are secure and you want to make sure the camera cut me off again don't worry though make sure that your connections are secure and then that way you'll get signals far away and you won't have any trouble w with downloading stuff or uh, talking to people on chat rooms or whatever you do on your computer that way you'll have a better signal alright I'm gonna get to it and figure out how to do this now <laughs> alright I'm gonna get started on this now I gotta slide the computer here around this way so I can see what I'm doing and really I want to pop these metal plates off the plastic so I have a little more room to work the only thing is I tried popping them off and I bent the piece of metal by accident so if you do this be very careful those metal plates are you know they're just a thin piece of steel they're not very strong they're not meant to be strong so be careful with it <sighs> alright I figured out why this isn't coming out there's two very 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 small clips there that hold this piece of metal in place and there's also like some kind of sticky tape or glue holding it in place so what I gotta do I'm gonna have to bend both of these small pieces of metal up over that clip and then I'm gonna have to pull this upward uh, this is the position I have it in uh, I gotta bend these two pieces of metal and pull it upward and then it should come out I hope you can see this clearly I know it's not the best camera angle but uh, this is the best I can do for right now I'll make sure that I explain everything to you so if you try and do this you won't screw anything up uh, anyway what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the smallest screwdriver I have in this little tool set over here and I'm gonna pry the piece of metal over that clip Alright, 
right that side's popped up now I gotta get the other side okay I got the clips to unpop but now the next problem is is that this piece of metal is glued to the plastic so even though I pop them clips the piece of metal still does not want to come off the plastic so if you run into the same problem I run into just be careful with this it's just a thin piece of steel alright so don't break the plastic you gotta be very gentle with this okay I finally got the metal separated from the plastic uh, there was a lot of glue in there holding that in place now as you see we have our Wi-Fi antenna now you see what's funny about Wi-Fi is it one antenna is for the transmitter and the other antenna from what I understand is for the receiver I don't know which is which but they both have to be the same size and they both have to be uh, uh, set up the same way in, in a pattern if you know what I mean that's just from my understanding what I was taught because they're both on a high frequency and they're both going to be transmitting on the same frequency so they both need to be the same size now from what I understand this antenna is matched to a specific frequency probably around two and a half gigahertz but even though it's matched to the frequency I still don't like the design just me I, I don't like the cell phone antennas I don't like the Wi-Fi antennas obviously I like the antennas that go straight up in the air and I think no matter what frequency you're on a bigger antenna you're going to get better reception I know they say small antennas uh, should be matched to a certain frequency and all that but I, I don't agree with that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a wire around this and I'm going to have the wire poke out of the top of the display what you're looking at here is the top of the laptop the top of the screen the screens over there I'm not messing with the screen because there's nothing wrong with it I'm going to have the antennas come out of here just straight and as of now that's my uh, idea I'm going to use this green wire wrap the wire around here and just have it come straight out and I'll test the signal and see how good it is I'm not disconnecting the wire from here so the antenna will still be connected uh, it's just that it'll have an extension so it'll get better signal and uh, hopefully get better range before I go ahead and modify anything I'm going to try and get this antenna out too it's the same procedure it's glued and you got to get the you got to uh, pop those metal clips up this side looks a little differently on this side there's a metal clip here and I think there's a metal clip there not metal plastic yeah, there's two clips, one on the left side, one on the right side, at least on this antenna. So I'm going to pop this one out and, and uh, hook a wire up to it. And I notice this antenna is designed differently. Hmm. See how this one's got more to it? This one's a little more simple. Uh, there's a gray wire and a black wire. I'm sure, sure there's something on the internet you can find out which is the transmitting antenna and which is the receiving antenna. But it doesn't really matter. Alright, that antenna was a lot easier to get out than the other one. This one was a pain, but that one, believe it or not, came right out. Now this right here is the top of the display, the top of the screen. <coughs> Normally this would be uh, at the top of the screen there, and then the antennas pop in there. So I'm thinking, let me hold this up in the light real quick. I'm thinking that if I put two holes in this plastic, I can run my little metal wires through the plastic and right out of the top of the computer without having to fish the wires through the sides and hope that it pops in place right I think I'm gonna melt two holes into the plastic and fish these wires right through the top I don't really want to use this green wire anymore though I've changed my mind I'd rather use an insulated wire like that so I can attach it to other stuff but I think I'm still gonna use this 
Okay, I got another wild idea here. This is a bicycle spoke. Now, I'm thinking if I put two holes in this plastic panel here, which goes on the top of the computer, I can screw this spoke in there. Or I can flip it around and use this little lip to be able to move the antenna up and down. So if I don't want to use it, I can put the antenna down. Now, it's just an idea. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I would like to figure it out. And I think I would get much better reception if I could figure out how to do that. Well, before I do anything, it turns out I forgot an antenna. There's three antennas in this computer. And I can see that there's a wire. Now, first of all, I'm going to work on these two here. And then I'm going to work on that one. But, uh... I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet, but I know it's going to involve this wire. Alright, I wrapped wa uh, one wire around the antenna plate. Now I'm going to wrap the second one, but I'm going to shave the paint off of this wire here so I can get a decent connection. If you don't scrape off the paint, you won't get a decent connection. Alright, so right now we've got our wires tied to the antenna rods here. Now I tried making them as secure as I could, but um, uh, it's just going to have to do for right now. Now my next step here is this plastic plate that goes on top of the screen. I really I was thinking about not putting that back on, but I think I really should because these pieces of metal, uh, they clamp into the the, uh, the mold here. This plastic is just a mold. Uh, they clamp in here, and the plastic will keep these antennas secure. Before I go working on the putting the plate back on there's a plate over here to the side that I still have to take off I didn't know that it had three antennas at first I thought it only had two but uh it turns out that it has three for some reason so next I gotta figure out how to pop this plate off and uh do the same thing I done with these two here I'm going to try and stick the smallest screwdriver I have into the side here and pop the plate off. Just like I did with the other one. Alright, I got the uh, plate here half popped off. Now, just one more clip. There we go. That's out. Now, this piece of tin foil here, however, I gotta figure out how to get the camera. Or, not the camera. I've gotta figure out how to get that foil off of the plastic. Alright. 
Now, next thing I had to do here is pop the metal off the plastic just like I did with these two. Alright, I'm going to move the computer around a little bit. Whatever you do, make sure uh, you don't have anything magnetic near your computer. I was going to take out the hard drive just so I know that nothing magnetic would go near it if I'm not paying attention. But uh, I decided to leave the hard drive in the computer. All I took out was the battery. You don't really got to take out the battery, but I did it anyway. Anyway, whoop. be careful with the screen, by the way. Now, as you can see, your uh, Wi-Fi antenna wires uh, come through there. One of them goes there, one of them goes there, and then the one goes here. What I myself am a little confused about here is which one is the transmitting antenna, which one is the receiving antenna, and obviously what is the third antenna for? <laughs> uh, maybe my maybe I'm wrong by one antenna transmitting and the other antenna receiving. Since there's three antennas, that tells me that they're all uh I don't know if they're all doing their own thing or if they each have a specific purpose. They might all be transmitting the same signal and receiving at the same time. I don't know. I'm still new at this myself. <laughs> I don't know. But it's just uh, an idea. So uh, I'm going to wire that up. And uh, then I'm going to put the computer back together and run a program. After I put the computer back together, I'm going to run a program I have called INSSIDER. It's uh, basically Insider is the name of it, but uh, it's a free program. It tells you about the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi signals in your area. It gives you and uh, gives you a graph and shows you every connection, every signal that's in the area and how how strong the signal is and stuff like that. I'm going to walk the computer out back with my new antennas and have that program running just to see how well it works. But my dumb self forgot to charge the battery. So I'm going to have to charge the battery when I'm done and then I'll start the camera again and go out back and show you how good everything works. But uh, right now I got to wire up that wire. I have to wire the third antenna. So I'm going to do that now. I got to unpop the antenna from the plastic. And Alright, this one came off fairly easy. Now, I don't want to get these confused, because one plate's for the top and one's for the side. Once again, this is the Lenovo R61. I don't know about other laptops. I don't know how they're designed, but that's how this one's designed. So, I've got to cut another piece of wire here. Make sure you shave the ends if you got wire like this. Make sure you scrape the ends and get all that paint off. Like I was saying, scrape the paint off the wire. I can't stand television. I can't stand it. Even though the TV's on in the other room, it's distracting me. Mentally. But no big deal. We're going to get this thing working. We're going to have better Wi-Fi service than anybody in the world. It's the way I see it. The mind police don't want you to know how to do this stuff, you know. They want you to be stupid. See? These big companies want you to go out and 
purchase an external antenna instead of building your own. When if you ask me, building your own building your own stuff is a little more fun than buying something and installing it. <laughs> At least to me, I'm not that type of dude that wastes money on something that doesn't even work half as good as something you can build yourself for free. I mean, I looked on the internet, there's antennas that cost $40. $40 and they're this big. <laughs> Only a fool would spend $40 on something like that. Truthfully, just being honest with you as a person. Okay, I got the wire wrapped around there, and now I'm just going to squeeze that down with the pliers. Hang on a minute, I don't want to squeeze it. i got to set the camera down. I don't want to bend the wrong thing here. But I'm going to crush that wire down against the plate so it's secure. There we go. Now, this plate's ready to go back into its little holder here. Uh, it went right here. Alrighty, now on the side here I was able to pop that back in place. What I like is a clip pops in so you can try and wiggle it around. It ain't gonna go anywhere. And uh, now our wire is in there pretty securely. And it goes up to there. Next I have to pop these two antennas back in to their little casing which is over here. And then after that I'm going to put the outer screen back on, or the outer cover to the screen, I should say. But uh, another thing is this tinfoil stuff here. I think this tinfoil stuff is supposed to be against here. It's easy to put back, that's no problem. It's just like a piece of aluminum foil that they put there. Alright, one's done. Okay, I was able to pop the internal antennas back into the panel here. Now, the panel is popped on, but it's not 100%. But I'm not worried about that. I could always put a piece of duct tape over it. This one is in, this one is in, and that one's in. I'm running out of space on my, uh, uh, on my tape here, so I'm going to have to... Pause the camera and speed up the video a little bit. Next what I'm going to do is flip the back cover here onto the screen and I'm going to screw all the screws back in to the casing here. Alright, the screen is on. It's secure. Now I've got to put this outer piece back on. Really, you don't even need to screw it in, but I'm going to.